to Washington now in the end of an era on Capitol Hill. Yesterday, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi announced she will step down from her leadership position in the Democratic caucus when Congress begins its new term. With great confidence in our caucus, I will not seek re-election to Democratic leadership in the next Congress. For me, the hours come for a new generation to lead the Democratic caucus that I so deeply respect. And I'm grateful that so many are ready and willing to shoulder this awesome responsibility. NBC News Capitol Hill correspondent Ryan Noble joins us now with more on the changing of the guard. Ryan, good morning to you. Uh, so Pelosi has been in a leadership role with the Democrats for two decades now. Talk to us about how Pelosi came to this decision and more about her farewell yesterday. You know, Kathy, none of us knew for sure what her plans were until the moment she delivered them on the House floor yesterday. Uh, there's, of course, been a lot of speculation about what her plans were going to be. Uh, and I think a lot of it depended on whether or not the Democrats were going to be able to upset uh, the trends of midterm elections and hold on to their House majority. When it became clear that that wasn't going to happen, that's when everyone started wondering whether or not Nancy Pelosi was going to move on. And then the question became, would she just leave leadership or would she leave the Congress altogether? Uh, and she's chosen to take the unique step of not leaving Congress, but just leaving her leadership position. And, and she talked uh, on the floor yesterday about why she believes it is important to hand over the leadership baton to a new generation here in Washington. New day is dawning on the horizon, and I look forward, always forward, to the unfolding story of our nation, a story of light and love of patriotism and progress, of many becoming one, and always an unfinished mission to make the dreams of today the reality of tomorrow. And now we owe to the American people our very best to deliver on their faith, to forever reach for the more perfect union. And so the role that she's going to play here, uh, as I said before, will be unique. Uh, she obviously uh, has so many admirers, so many people that look to her for guidance. And so the fact that she's still going to be here while other people will take over the job that she had before uh, could be helpful, uh, but it also could be a distraction. So we'll have to see how this plays out uh, once Republicans take the majority uh, on January 3rd. And Ryan, it wasn't just Pelosi, but Maryland Congressman Steny Hoyer, who currently holds a number two leadership position, says he's also not seeking a leadership role. What's next for Democrats going forward and who can potentially uh, can we expect to see in these new roles coming soon? Right. Uh, Steny Hoyer, right. Also, Jim Clyburn, the number three ranking Democrat, all of them octogenarians, all saying that they're going to stay in Congress, but hand things over to a new crop of leaders. Uh, the name that everybody uh, keeps uh, uh, looking back to is Hakeem Jeffries. He is a, a young congressman uh, from New York City. Uh, he is a rising star in the Democratic Party. Uh, he is someone who seems to have consolidated the support of Democrats and seems poised to become the next Democratic leader. Uh, he'll be joined, uh, it appears, by Catherine Clark, uh, a Democrat from Massachusetts, uh, who announced just this morning that she is seeking the Democratic whip position. And then Pete Aguilar from California, who served on the January 6th Select Committee and is likely going to be the next caucus chair. Uh, these are much younger uh, members of Congress, but people that still have uh, a certain degree of experience. And what is also most remarkable about them is how diverse they are. Uh, Hakeem Jeffries would be the first black leader of any party in Congress, both the House and Senate. So if he is successful, that would indeed be historic. Yep, some big changes ahead. Ryan, thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.